A major announcement from ODOT tonight. The agency will receive $19 million to help make sure our roads are safe to drive on this coming winter. And this comes after ODOT previously announced they'd be scaling back some services this year due to budget cuts. Fox 12 So Young Kim joins us live from government camp with details on the story. So Young. Nora, Pete, a very timely announcement just days after the mountain passes here received several inches of snow. This can be a treacherous if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. People we spoke with driving through the passes say they know just how slick and dangerous that stretch can be during winter driving conditions. Usually when it's really busy and they're not able to get the plows out, it makes the drive even longer and a little more treacherous. So drivers were glad to hear about the infusion of $19 million aimed at making roads safer this winter. Oh, that's fantastic. And as long as we've got people out there to clear the roads, I think it'll be safer and better for everyone. In a joint announcement Monday, state lawmakers approved additional funding for the Oregon Department of Transportation for the duration of the 2023-2025 biennium. This comes as ODOT was facing a budget shortfall that would have forced the agency to cut a number of winter maintenance services. ODOT's budget woes are due mainly to shortfalls in the state highway fund, plus record levels of inflation. In the announcement, Governor Tina Kotek says in part, quote, I am committed to finding long-term solutions solutions that ensure our state roads and highways are meeting the needs of Oregon families, businesses, and visitors. Kevin Glenn, the communications director at ODOT, says the funds will allow for more snowplow trucks, overtime pay for staff, as well as more pothole fixes and striping of edge lines of low volume roads. People say they have seen a need for these additional solutions. It's good to hear that they're going to do that. Uh, some places you can't see the road at all. Either. Before heading out on the road, be sure to check tripcheck.com for the latest road conditions. Live in government camp, So Young Kim, Fox 12 Oregon.